Hello everyone, my name is Jeremy and I'm going to talk to you about a touchy yet necessary topic. I have my notes in front of me, so I'm going to be looking back and forth a lot and I may pause between the video or throughout the video so that way I'm communicating in a way that makes sense and I do want to make sure that I don't miss anything. So with that being said, um, I'd like to share my experience with you about suicide and know that it is coming from a place of experience, having gone through the full spectrum of suicide and how it may impact our lives. Um, I'm not a professional. I have not studied this, but again, through my own life experience, I wanted to share how I've gotten through uh, the impacts of suicide and how, or what I would do differently is something that I would probably say. So let me start by saying that on the other side of going through various events related to a suicide, I have identified my purpose in life, which is to help people operate at their highest potential through self-awareness. And simply what that means is helping people realize that they are not their body, their emotions, their thoughts, or the trauma that has happened to them. So that way a space is created between what's happening in their life experience or in the present moment and how they're responding. Essentially, it's almost like watching The Wizard of Oz. We see the machine that's The Wizard of Oz, but in reality, Oz is the person or the presence behind the curtain. And once you realize that, then your life can drastically change because now you're more self-aware of life and how you can go throughout life. Um, I'll say this as somebody who has thought about suicide as someone who has attempted suicide and someone who has survived two family members that committed suicide within two years of each other within my immediate family. It's a very heavy burden and it's not something that is always explainable. It's not something that's always understandable. And it's something that happens way too often. So with this video, I'm hoping that people take away things that can help them throughout their individual journey, or maybe share this with someone who's going through something, or maybe the survivor of someone who's committed suicide. Let's start with uh, maybe what I experienced and how I pulled myself out of suicidal thoughts. Um, and again, this is my experience. I'll start by saying that in the moments of those thoughts, I was looking for an end. I was looking for a situation or circumstances or whatever it may have been to just completely stop because it felt out of my control and it felt like I couldn't do anything. It felt like I was better off not experiencing what I was experiencing because it was mentally, emotionally, physically, financially, just too much. So I was looking for a permanent solution for a temporary problem. I can say that now in a place of self-awareness, but in the moment, it didn't feel like that. It felt like it would never end. It felt like it would never stop. And uh, it was through meditation and seeking a mental health professional that I was able to get out of those thoughts. Meditation um, to me starts with grounding exercises. So really pulling yourself into the present moment by listening to what's around you like for example i love playing water sounds from youtube or smelling candles or feeling a necklace of some sort what that does is when those thoughts start to happen you focus on your senses because it's what's happening in the present moment and that creates a disruption between the thoughts that are happening which are not really you and what's truly happening in the present moment and in that space, you have the ability to hear and think clearly. So that way you can 
make the decision to maybe phone a trusted family or friend um, or maybe reach out to resources like a mental health professional or the suicide line that's available. Grounding exercises led me into meditation because meditation helps me to identify the trigger, what happened in that moment to cause me to think about those thoughts, and then maybe where it comes from, which a mental health professional complements that. I feel like because mental health is such a topic that people don't really want to talk about, it's taboo, but it's very necessary. If I uh, had to add anything else to that, it would be journal. Um, Journaling and expressing myself through my gifts and talents. Those things, grounding exercises, meditation, a mental health professional, journaling and expressing myself through gifts and talents helped to get whatever was on the inside, maybe the triggers and the roots of those triggers out of me. So that way I could be in a more clear headspace to then make more favorable decisions. If I could talk to my loved ones who died by suicide, which, by the way, this is my aunt who died by suicide. Hopefully you can see. And this is my, let's see, this is my baby brother who died by suicide. If I could talk to them again, um, the first thing that I would say is I love you unconditionally. Uh, I love you beyond words, beyond comprehension, and I would do anything and everything to make sure that we work together to ensure that you're good. As long as you're committed to helping yourself and you recognize that I have a limited capacity in what I can do, we're going to walk hand in hand by doing whatever is necessary to get you the help that you need. In those moments, people feel like, it again, it's the best solution in that moment. I know that sometimes it, it may seem like you're a burden on other people when you're having those thoughts, but the impact that that permanent solution has on people is a lot. I went months without sleeping, literally had to go to a psychiatrist to get medicine to help me sleep. I don't think that I slept for more than an hour. Um, And I lost those two family members within two years of each other. That's a lot on top of all the other trauma and heartache and personal things that I was going through. I know that it's not easy, but talk to somebody, talk to somebody. If I could talk to my younger self, um, when I was having those thoughts, I'd say your purpose, your life has an immense purpose hidden in the circumstances and people and lessons that you experienced during your life. So look at the circumstances, reflect on them, reflect on the people in your life and realize that there is something hidden within all of that. Even the good, the bad and the ugly When you reflect on that, once you've gotten to that place of self-awareness, you can understand why you're going through the things that you're going through. Um, Like I said previously, seek mental health professional, meditate, do your grounding exercises, love the full spectrum of who you are and define love and hold people to that definition. So realize that there are things that you may like and may not like about yourself but love yourself from the inside. That will help you tremendously. And that goes to my next thought, which is seeking validation from within. Um, Don't look for external things, um, people, circumstances to validate you. Everything that you need is on the inside. Live your life in a way that creates ease within you and seek peace from within. People have a tendency to project their fears onto you and their beliefs onto you. So keep that in mind. Keep in mind that people do the best they can with what they have and people's limits are not your limits. 
I wish that I could tell myself, my younger self that, so that way when I was triggered by certain things that people did and said that I would do the best that I could within those moments. Granted, I was super young, so maybe self-awareness was not something that I could fully grasp, but being somebody who's gone through that and being able to speak to a younger person or whoever, um, those things I feel would tremendously help out. Uh, if I could talk to uh, the people around me uh, that were there when I was having those thoughts who really didn't know because I didn't talk about it, um, it would be to love unconditionally uh, and then create the environment that makes people around them feel comfortable, makes people feel like they can be their true and authentic self so that way they talk and they express themselves. Um, be vulnerable and be transparent as much as you can be a smile does not mean everything is okay. I'm a big, big, big example of that because I smile at everything. Um, make difficult conversations easier by being vulnerable and transparent, encouraging people to talk, but following through on your words and what you say that you'll do and not using that to tear somebody else down. And then look people in their eyes. Tell them that you're here for them, that you love them, and that you mean and will well and will do anything to help them be successful again as long as they're committed and they recognize that you only have a limited capacity in their journey if i could talk to the people that are survivors of those who have died by suicide i would say each day gets better and better as long as you make the conscious effort to heal yourself doesn't happen overnight, doesn't happen the next month, doesn't happen the next year. It's an ongoing process, especially when someone is out of your life in such an abrupt way. Um, seek a mental health professional, seek groups, seek um, anything that will allow you to talk things through. You need to talk it out because it's not easy. Share your experiences because you never know how people are healed by what you say and especially with what you've gone through. And the most difficult part for me was embracing that you cannot change what's already been done. Know that you did the best that you could do with the capacity that you had and as much as we want to reflect over the shoulda, coulda, wouldas, the best thing that you can do in this moment is to remember the great moments that you had with them and to live your life in a way that they would be happy, that they would look down or look through their lens wherever they are spiritually and uh, smile. That's probably the biggest compliment that you could receive. I hope that this video has helped you with working through your thoughts, working through your own individual journey, walking, working through um, your circumstance or whatever you may be going through um, that may have brought up suicide as an option or something that has impacted your life. As someone who, again, has experienced the full spectrum of suicide, it's never easy. It's not something that you would expect in some cases, but it is a reality. And I hope that something that I've said can help you in your journey. Have a great day.